Good morning, everyone. How are we doing today? I woke up with a migraine, but I'm okay now. So I'm on the floor today because Bodhi wanted to be a part of the video, but now he's over there. So hi, Sheldon. All right, so I hope everybody's feeling good today. Bodhi, come here, come here. He's chewing on his bones so you can hear him in the background. All right, so today we're gonna get right into practice because my videos have been too long so far, okay? And I don't wanna lose you know, people because our attention spans are not so great these days with the internet and everything. But if we use the internet to our advantage, it can be a really productive experience. So, hi everybody. I'll wait for a few more people to hop on. My hair's in my face again. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about um, feelings before we start, okay? Because I have this conversation with my clients all the time and we talk about the feelings that we have and then we go into judgment on the feelings that we have and when we're judging our feelings, it, it creates a really uncomfortable experience. So there's no negative, no positive emotions. They're all just emotions and they're all helpful and they're all necessary and they're all human, okay? So let's not do any of this spiritual bypassing that is a part of the spiritual community where um, you know we kind of we, we continue to suppress and repress our feelings because we've now gone into judgment of them because oh it's not okay to feel this way or that way and I should feel this way and I should be more healed than I am. That crap's gotta stop. Hold space for yourself and hold space for everything that shows up for you. Everything is your teacher. So I really wanted Bodhi to come over here. <laughs> He will. Bodhi, come here. They want to see you. No, okay. All right. So, <clears throat> hmm. I'm not quite with it today because I'm recovering from having a migraine all night, basically. So, I hope everybody's hydrated and I hope everybody did their stretches. If you haven't, you can do them after the video. Okay. So we're all going to start with a deep breath. Hi, everybody. <laughs> all right, so long, deep breath. Get yourself rooted right down into the earth. Remember, you're on the planet. <laughs> all right, feel yourself in your body. Okay, we're gonna ask the question, <clears throat> where am I in relation to my body? Okay, so take a deep breath. And check in and see where am I in relation to my body. Oh, goodness. I'm scattered out. So I'm going to take a second and draw myself in here. I was running around like crazy before I started this video because Bodhi was having trouble walking on the hardwood floor with his wet paws from being in the snow. So everybody just take a moment to really bring yourself in. Align yourself in your field, okay? Full embodiment. There we go. And it's just through intention, okay? So it's not, it's not hard. It's just the intention to, to call in the, the parts of yourself that have kind of popped out because sometimes we get uncomfortable in our bodies or sometimes we just want to go fly a spaceship somewhere. That happens. So, okay. I made notes because I wasn't sure how I was gonna do today with the, with the headache and everything. Uh, okay, so now, next step. Oh, hi, Daisy. First time, good, yes, this is day number three, so that's three. Okay, so if everybody feels embodied and aligned, the next step is to take three long deep breaths, and on the third breath, you're going to think of something that feels really good in your heart and really feel that. So something you have deep gratitude for. So five count in, five count out for three breaths. Think of something you have great love and appreciation for, great gratitude for, and that puts you in your heart center. 
and I'm already there. Okay, good. So today, okay, most of you that are watching know about this stuff, but just in case there's anybody who is watching who does not know, we're going to be doing work with the chakras today. So I don't know, can you kind of see that? Okay, so for those of you that don't know, the chakras are the colors of the rainbow. There's seven, okay? So we have our crown, third eye, or um, brow in, in some fields, they call it brow. Throat chakra, heart chakra, solar plexus, sacral chakra right below your navel, and then your root chakra, right where your legs meet your body, okay? So we're going to do an alignment, activation, and harmonization is the intention of our chakras today. Okay, so this should feel pretty good. I'm going to close my eyes because I do better with that. Okay, so everybody take a long deep breath. Actually, I'll keep my eyes open because I want to see who's on here. Hi, everybody. Okay, we're going to start at the crown and work our way down. And I'll walk you through it as we go. So everybody, long deep breath. Okay. So imagine your crown chakra up at the top of your head, and it's a deep purple color. And we're using the power of our imagination to bring our energetic field into a more harmonic state. Okay, so notice, if you could, see a purple light at the top of your head at your crown chakra. What color purple is it? How bright is it shining? How big is that light? And I want you to just through intention alone, imagine that light getting brighter. Okay, and more vibrant. And then notice how much bigger that light gets. And when it feels complete, breathe into that. Keep breathing. Okay, and imagine now, this is what's coming in, imagine a glowing purple lotus flower at the crown of your head, open wide to receive, okay? So today, one of our intentions is going to be receptivity. I like that, okay? So I would like each of you to say out loud if you can, depending on where you're at. You may not be able to say this out loud, but you can say it in your head, that's okay. Out loud just carries the frequency and vibration, okay? I am open to receive my abundance today. And abundance is a great word because that can be anything and everything. And the universe is listening. I'm open to receive my abundance today. Okay, and part of that intention too is to tap into your higher knowing. Okay, now to the third eye. And the third eye is a more pale purple color. So imagine right in here, okay, the third eye is in the center of your forehead. Breathe into that. Imagine what color it is, how bright it is. Now breathe more light into it and expansion. And imagine an eye in the center of your head opening. I am open to higher knowing and expanded awareness. I am open to higher knowing and expanded awareness. Okay, and notice how bright that is, how wide your eye is open, and how bright that light is shining. Okay, breathe into that one more time. Now down to the throat chakra. Okay, a lot of us have throat chakra stuff because we hold back what we really want to say, we don't express ourselves, we're frightened of speaking our truth, okay? So we want to start with saying, it is safe to speak my truth. Okay, so if everybody can say that out loud, if you can't say it out loud, say it loud in your head. It is safe to speak my truth. It is righteous to speak my truth. Now breathe into your throat chakra and imagine blue, okay, bright blue. 
Okay, so this bright blue light is getting brighter and brighter with every breath you take. Expand that light out. And open. That should feel a little better for some of you. Okay, so imagine that now. See it bigger, brighter, more expressive. Okay. One more breath into that. Now down to the heart chakra. Breathe into your heart. And we started there, which is important. So breathe into your heart. And imagine it's this beautiful, beautiful emerald green. And if you're seeing a different color, it's okay. There's no rules. These are all just guidelines to help us. So breathe into that beautiful, bright green heart chakra. Imagine how bright it's glowing. You might, you might see it's not very bright. Mine's a little uh, murky. So I'm going to work on mine. Let's take five long, deep breaths into our heart chakra, okay? And imagine it glowing brighter, more brilliant, and expanding out. And ideally, we want to see all of our chakras expanding out to about the same size. So long, deep breaths. Heart is one of the most important chakras. They're all important, but we often repress and shield our heart. And if you see anything in there that doesn't belong, sometimes when we, we do these exercises, we'll see something in that kind of disc or orb of light that, that's like a dark spot. Just using your imaginative process, just remove that. You can have a helper come in and, and kind of pull it out. I got a little something there. And breathe light into that. I am whole and complete, and I am made of perfect love. I am whole and complete, and I am made of perfect love. It is safe to give and receive love. It is safe to love. It is safe. Breathe into that one more time. Now down to the solar plexus. The solar plexus is like a bright sunflower yellow or sunshine yellow. Breathe into that. See what color it is. See how bright it is. See how big and expanded it is or how tight and constricted it is. Breathe into that four times. making it brighter and more expanded and in harmony with the other chakras. Imagine it getting really, really bright yellow. Ooh, that feels better. Okay, one more deep breath. I don't know where you all are at in your breathing, but it's okay. We all just breathe at whatever pace is comfortable for us. Okay, now down to the sacral chakra. So I'm getting the, the, uh, the thought that it is important for us to notice when we breathe into our sacral chakra again, if we have anything. So take one long deep breath. Notice what color it is. You should, it, it, it's, it's meant to be seen as a bright, almost like a fire orange okay breathe into that and notice what color is it how bright is it shining and are there any spots there for women it will be your womb space for men the space between your navel and your groin okay so breathe into that if there's anything there if it's cloudy or dark just breathe light into that I feel like some of us need a little extra help with that today as well in our lives. And the sacral chakra has to do with I feel, okay? So it is safe 
to feel all that I do. It is enjoyable to feel. It is my divine right to feel. Two more deep breaths into the sacral chakra. See how bright that's shining, how expanded it is. Let's get glowy. Now we want that in alignment with the other chakras because we don't want to blow out our sacral and be walking around all in our sexy chakra. <laughs> Call some weird stuff in when you do that. <laughs> okay, so just notice that that's in alignment with all the other chakras. Okay, and now we're going to go down to the root chakra. And the root chakra is the I am. That's our connection to earth. And the root chakra is for women, right where your yoni is, for man, right where your lingam is. Stretching your legs. Okay, breathe into your root chakra. It's that bright red, crimson red. Notice what it looks like. Breathe light and expansion. And I want you to say out loud, I am worthy. I am worthy. I am abundant. I am joyful. And I am loved. More long deep breath. Noticing that now you can see all your chakras lit up, really bright, very vibrant, and all in alignment with one another. Okay, so take a couple deep breaths and notice what's different. I have no headache. <laughs> Kevin, I love this lady. Oh. Okay, so it. If anybody has any questions, you can ask me in the comments after. I'm going to sign out because I have to go get my braces done. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining. I really hope that that was helpful to you, and I hope that that helps you start your day out in a really beautiful way. Again, think about what you want to align with today and call it in. It's all there. When you're in resonance with it, you can actually align with it in the universe. You can go big. Okay? It's all there waiting for you. Be happy. Be loved. Smile. And have a wonderful day. I love you all so much. Bye guys. <laughs>